Okay. Hello, and welcome to Romeo and Juliet, the after show. I am your host, Cynthia, and these are our contestants. Lady Capulet, Friar Lauren, and the nurse. Okay, so I have questions for all three of you guys, but I will start off with Lady Capulet. What were your initial feelings after Romeo and Juliet were found dead? Truthfully, I was very distraught, and I didn't know what to think about the situation. Okay, and how do you feel about it now? As of now, I'm still quite sad, and I wish that there would have been a way to stop it. Yes, I bet we all feel that way. Okay, now I want to fry Lawrence. Did you have any doubts in your mind when you gave Julia the sleeping potion? Actually, I did. I felt that something bad might happen. That's all. Okay, so what made you decide to still give her the potion? Well, for one, she threatened to commit suicide in front of me. So, I did it out of fear. Another reason. Something inside of me told me that it would be okay. That's all. I see. Well, sorry things didn't work out. Nurse. What did you think about Romeo and Juliet's relationship at first? Well, I thought Romeo was a lovely young oh boy who really loved my dear Juliet. Did your initial thoughts ever change? At one point, I was awful of young Romeo, and I went to tell Juliet. But I feel like it's my fault for the death of, my, of Juliet. Well, this is some really deep stuff right here. Okay, Mrs. Capulet, what did you think when you first heard that Romeo and Juliet were married and in love? When I first heard this, I was in shock because I had no idea about their love, and it made me think about how our family feud had affected our kids. Would you have liked to know about your daughter's love? Of course, I would have loved to know everything. Every mother would. Okay, nurse. If you could have changed anything leading up to their death, what would it be and why? If I could change anything, I would have been there for Juliet and helped her get Romeo back. And because oh. I found out that they really love each other. Okay, Friar Lawrence, do you think that Romeo and Juliet's death could have been prevented? I believe uh, Romeo and Juliet's death could have been prevented. Personally, I think that it was both the family's faults. If they would have just cut out both the family rivals and ended it, then their, their relationship wouldn't have to be a secret and none of this would never happen. That's all so hard. Okay, I just have a few more questions for you guys. Lady Capital, if your daughter was alive right now and you could ask or tell her anything, what would it be? I would tell her that I'm sorry that she felt as though she had to hide her relationship from me, and I let her know that I'll always be there for her. How sweet. Okay, Fire Lawrence, here is a good one for you. What were your thoughts when you found out that Romeo didn't receive the letter? Honestly, I was shocked because it was a big mistake in changing plans. Everything just got messed up. That's all. Indeed it did. These deaths are quite tragic. How do you think this affects your family's relationship with the Montagues? Well, I feel like the tragedy has brought the two families together because we both lost our loved ones. I do. Well, this concludes our talk show. I'd like to thank all of you, Lady Catholic, the nurse, and Friar Lawrence for speaking with us today. The end.